Hello Virgo, what's going on? Hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, my name is Diane, for those of you that don't know me, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're gonna do a general reading uh, for August, but of course, you know, it's timeless. Uh, all of my readings are timeless. So whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. Um, you're very, very welcome here. Virgo, thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that very much as well. And I do apologize. I know it's been a while since I've done a reading for you guys, but I have been unwell, so <laughs> there's only so much I can do. I've been recuperating. So I do what I can, you know, I do what I can. So you have the Eight of Swords here, basically, with that card all tied up. Okay, what else for Virgo? Ooh, there's something going on. Ooh, that's crazy. You just got three chakra cards that came out together. And what's really interesting is that you have the fifth chakra, the, which is the throat, and the third chakra, your solar plexus, have come out together. So there's some, okay, you've been restricting yourself in some way. The throat chakra is all about self-expression, which can be in the, you know, it takes many forms, of course. Um, it, you know, standing up for yourself with people, having boundaries, saying what you feel, asking for what you need. Um, you know, creative projects like writing or speaking, like a YouTube channel, for example, or writing a book, or stepping into, say, like a managerial role, something like this, where you would have to take meetings, you know, or teaching, something like this. It's more centered around your solar plexus chakra because you, ha you also have the yellow candle. Solar plexus is the color yellow. So there's something being balanced in your solar plexus chakra, which if you want to know about the chakras, go check out my other channel if you feel like doing that. I have a bunch of stuff over there about the chakras because I'm like obsessed <laughs> with them because they're so pretty. <laughs> um, the colors are so pretty. Um, but the solar plexus in a nutshell is all about personal confidence, personal power, willpower, having faith in your own decisions. It's often known as the leadership chakra, you know, because say it was you've been thinking about taking a managerial position, right? Say you had to, you know, take meetings and tell people what to do and do work schedules and things like that. There's always going to be people that come at you just because you're there, you know, so you have to be like very sound in your own frame and be like, no, we're not doing it this way. We're doing it my way because otherwise it's just going to be chaos, right? Um, so there's something here about your solar plexus chakra being balanced and it's actually opening up your throat chakra because you have a lot to say about something. But with the eight of swords, like this talks about kind of undermining yourself, like restricting what it is that you're doing, like playing it small. And it's because up until this point, you haven't really had the confidence. So I feel like, I don't know if you've actually been working on your solar plexus or um, spirits trying to get you to work on your solar plexus, or this is something that's just been opening up for you. Because that, that will happen when it's the right time. You know, when you've been doing like, I don't know, affirmations or you know, you've just been getting more confident. The solar plexus starts to open up. There's also something going on with your root chakra here. I want to put that like that. The root chakra and the throat chakra are very much tied into each other. If you have a block in your root chakra, it leads to anxiety and like a lot of fear. And if you have a block in your throat chakra, it's linked with social anxiety. So you may have like a little bit of social anxiety, uh, it's like standing up for yourself, maybe you're a little shy, you know, maybe people put you down in the past, maybe it was your family, or you got bullied in school, something like that, or you had a shit marriage, you know, like 10 years, people will, you know, that's a long time to break you, right? Could be anything like that. But all of these chakras are being balanced because spirit keeps telling me that you have something very important to say. 
So all of this, like, playing it small so as to not to offend people or whatever it is, that's about to be a thing of the past. Oh, you know why? Look, you have door to spirit next to your throat chakra. So you have you're going to be speaking for spirit. Wow, this is a really cool reading. There's something that you're going to be doing where you're speaking for spirit. Which, that can take many forms, you know, like, because immediately it makes you think, like, talking to dead people, right? Like, <laughs> mediums or, like, the tarot or whatever. But it can also take the form of, say, you're a counsellor for children, you may find that you just always have the right thing to say to comfort the children and that is because you are channeling it from spirit, for example. Or say you have a, a book to write. What's actually happening is that you're channeling a book from spirit. They're giving you the information. Like, you know, maybe kind of like J.K. Rowling, you know? Because I have a firm belief that those books were channeled. Because <laughs> they're so, they're, yeah. So it could be something like that that you're doing, right? I want to get some of these. I'm going to put them over here. Yeah, so if that's sounding like uh, familiar to you, then it's probably you're already on you're balancing these chakras already, but you can still do work on them, you know what I mean, if you wanted to push the situation forward faster. Uh, what else for Virgo? That came out very decisively. Pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what it is you're doing, Virgo, but you're some kind of oracle for spirit. You're also a pillar of light. Like you're going to be a pillar of light in humanity. So, you know, once your vibration starts to rise like this, you'll probably notice certain things like people stare at you for no reason or, you know, animals are really drawn to you or children are really drawn to you. Um, yeah. What else for Virgo? Anything else from this deck for Virgo? Align your life. What is not, a, I don't feel like that's the right card. Right, I'm gonna pull some more from this deck and then I'm gonna get another card from that deck. Right, what else for Virgo? Should it be this deck or this deck? This one. you have the another chakra card you have the heart chakra with Archangel Raphael you have indecision right if you are indecisive about something now that could be a specific decision that you're trying to make or you might just be feeling a little un indecisive in general like you can't see the way forward or you're not sure which road to choose or even on a daily basis you're not sure what would be the best thing for you to do? Um, that's a root chakra issue. They're telling you to ground your energy, which can be done in many different ways. It's something that I've been working on a lot myself. Um, one of the best ways to do it is to get yourself out walking on, or like get your feet on grass or sand or something like that on the beach. That's the best way to ground yourself. But um, you can also do it with yoga. You can do it with meditation. Um, yeah, there's something here about, like, if you've been suffering from that, they're telling you to ground your energy. And things are just, they're going to unfold naturally because you get, you know, every day, the it will be easier for you to make the decisions because you're going to be able to see more clearly what to do 
it's difficult to describe, but basically when you're grounded, like you're receiving energy and like, um, energy from the earth and also like you have a magnetic field in your body and if you're not kind of getting energy from the earth then it screws with your electromagnetic field which basically screws with your chi so long story short um you have the third chakra here with envy so listen that's really interesting because now stay with me this is a little woo woo <laughs> it is known that okay so your third chakra is like around about your midsection and it's in, it's in the area of the spleen right which in chinese medicine is kind of known as like the inner fire like the thing that gives you energy and again the the third chakra the the solar plexus chakra is also known to give you energy right to give you willpower get up and go if you have people sending you, like if you have a lot of envious people around you, it's known to affect the spleen and drain your energy. Could be in the form of etheric cords. This could be people that you work with. It could be um, if you're online, people are kind of accidentally sending you hate. You know, it could even be like a neighbor. You know, say you have a neighbor that, you know, you're on good terms with them, but they could still be sending you bad juju, like, oh, this bitch, like, who does she think she is? You know, this kind of thing. That's um, uh, gonna mess with your, your solar plexus chakra. So I recommend actually maybe listening to like a solar plexus chakra during the day or something like that. They're just kind of giving you, I think they're asking you to protect your energy. Okay, like to, to really start learning how to deal with your energy. You also have caring connections here and you have it with this throat chakra card. I'm gonna leave that there, but I'm also gonna pull another chakra for the throat chakra. Oh yeah, there's definitely something here with your throat. You have the victory card, which is like the six of wands. So there's some kind of like blockage in your throat chakra that's going to be removed because also with the six of wands, this talks about um, being seen. So you have some kind of role, whatever it is you're doing, where you're meant to be heard. You know, like you're meant to have your voice heard in some way, whether that's teaching or managing a, a, a team or writing a book or YouTube or whatever it is, you're meant to be heard. Listen, there's some kind of caring connection. There's some kind of partnership here that's going to come in. And you're going to get a lot of envy about this. I don't know if that's, I don't know. That could be from people in general, you know, your friends and family or whatever. It could be past people. Maybe it's something, I don't know, online, like you're putting pictures of yourself online or something like that. They're just letting you know that there will be some envy around this. So I think they're trying to get you to protect your energy. Okay. <laughs> um, and if you want to know more about the spleen, like all that other stuff, I have it on my other channel if you feel like checking it out. There's a, there's a connection coming in with someone um, where your boundaries are going to be very well respected like with the throat chakra you're going to have excellent conversations with this person this person could be some kind of speaker um or you could be the speaker or you could both do it but um yeah you're really going to be able to you know this person's going to listen to you they're going to really respect your boundaries and vice versa and they're actually going to help you with um like your solar plexus chakra as well. Okay, you have the door to spirit with the garden and the gates. You may be a little resistant to go through this door to spirit because I always see this garden and the gate card like the judgment card, which is like the penultimate card in the deck. So if you, if you consider the last card in the deck to be like the front door of a house, the judgment card would be standing at the gate, which is literally what she's doing here. And then you have the door to spirit. So I feel like you may already be very psychic or you may already be very in touch with spirit, but I feel like there's 
you maybe resist it a little bit or you're a little cautious of it or you haven't fully stepped into it yet, but you're about to. Like it's about to, the floodgates are about to open, but I feel like they're trying to get you to ground your energy first or to deal with this. I I think they've been helping you with these energy blockages first. Okay, there's been, see with your, your heart chakra and this eight of swords, you have deceit here. I feel like maybe one of the reasons that you've held yourself back with like putting yourself forward or having your voice heard or even really getting very in touch with spirit, there may have been a particular deceit or a lot of deceit that you've dealt with in your lifetime. Um, which doesn't surprise me because I think Virgos are a very sweet sign. Like you're very, um, you know, you're very like acts of service. I always think Virgos are really lovely signs. So you may have found yourself being taken advantage of because yeah, look, there's the Queen of Cups. Um, so the Queen of Cups is all about, you know, learning boundaries, standing up for yourself, only letting people in when you know, like not letting people take advantage of you basically, like being able to stand up and be like, no, like you're not, we're not doing that. You're not talking to me like that. You're not putting me down. I will have my voice heard, you know? Um, and right behind that, you have a man holding a heart. So you have the King and Queen of Cups here. So you have a very special connection coming in here with a King uh, and Queen of Cups. So this is like your your other half, someone who's as sweet as you are, who's very likely been through a lot of stuff. Um, like you and at the bottom of the deck you have the five of cups here so I suspect you've both maybe ha you know had your share <laughs> of the wars um, but when you have a lot of people kind of backstab you and deceive you it does tend to kind of block the heart chakra a little bit you know because you distrust people and you're like well you know it can be a very heavy energy to carry around so I feel like that's something else that you're releasing. And give me one of these for over here, please. Transformation, wow. I've never even seen that card. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. And look, she's like the high priestess. And you know, if you're a dude, you can be the hierophant, okay? But um, you have a lot going on. So listen, your vibration is rising at the moment. You may, you may even get a little sick, like your vessel may get a little sick. Um, Cause that's what happens when your vibration rises. Basically when it's time for you to step into, you know, this role, whatever it is you're doing, The, um, in order to receive these messages, they have to kind of clear out a lot of the crap that's in your body that's making your body lower vibrational, right? Like say it's, uh, you know, um, you carry a lot of anger or you have people being very envious of you and draining your energy or you have like a block in your throat chakra or there's all this like um, fear around getting hurt again, something like this. This is what they'll be removing so that your energy is like purified. And it often comes out in the body as like a disease <laughs> or, you know, even like feeling a bit fluey or something like that, because literally there's a lot going on. Like your actual vessel is changing at the cellular level because there's so much deep healing going on. Cause see like stuck emotion, it's literally energy that gets stuck in the body. But if you've had this like since you were a kid, for example, then it's literally like a part of the makeup of your body. So it's very, it's a big deal that it's being removed. Do you know what I mean? So be patient with yourself at this time. Yeah. Look, you have Hilarion, divine emergence. This is you like emerging. Be seen, let the world know your gifts. So all these people that have tried to put you down or like whatever's happened to kind of stop you from really showing people what you can do, that's a thing of the past.
Kalima, Divine Severance, cut the cords to dramas, fears, and limitations. Wow. So there is a little bit of, like I said, like fear about stepping fully into this, um, how do I put it? Because I'm sure you're already very spiritual, but maybe you're not meditating as much as you should, for example, you know? Or maybe there's still a little bit of resistance because you want to be normal. <laughs> or, um, you know, something like this. It could be something like that. But it's like you know you're meant to step into this kind of high priestess, hierophant thing for a lot of you. Um, maybe you're resisting it a little bit because like, I don't know, maybe you don't want to be seen also. If you've spent your whole life, you know, sort of hiding away, maybe you don't really want to be seen. That could be another thing because this person here is very seen, whatever you're stepping into. And her little crown chakra is all lit up. Uh, facing fear leads to fearlessness. Embrace your power. So that's something else. See with the root chakra, like the root chakra is all about fear. Um releasing fear. So that's something else I think they've been working on you with. Okay, let's get some, I'm going to do an extended reading for this Virgo, but I want to ask about wh what this is that you're doing. <laughs> Look, you're meant to be a speaker with the throat chakra. I, I want to ask about this speaking thing. And then the extended reading will focus on this person that's coming in, okay? Yeah, I don't know who's envious of this connection, but you... Yeah, you might want to learn to protect your energy, okay? Finding your divine purpose. Man. You're really something special. Do you know that, Virgo? Whatever this is you're doing, it's very special. Like, this is your divine purpose. You're meant to be seen. I'm just going to reshuffle those. <laughs> I feel like I just dropped a bunch of them. Uh, what else for Virgo? Tell us about this throat chakra thing. What is this throat chakra thing? You're on the right path. Okay. You might be doubting the path because she's standing at the gate. So maybe you're like, oh, is this the right path? You know, because if you're very shy or you have social anxiety or you don't have that much confidence, you know, when you first start putting yourself out there, it can feel, feel very wrong, right? Like if you've never had a managerial job or something like that, for example, if you start doing that kind of job, you might feel like a fraud at the start, right? Most people feel like that, like most, you know, I would say most people feel like that at the start, but um, you're, you're on the right path. Okay, what else about this throat chakra for Virgo? What else about this throat chakra for Virgo? Abundance. I knew that was going to come out. There's something about this thing that you're doing. Look. Something about this thing that you're doing is going to bring you a lot of abundance. She's even got her mouth open. Look, she's got her tongue out. That's a throat chakra pose. Something about your throat chakra. There's a blockage in your throat chakra that's been removed. This is going to lead you to a lot of abundance. Look, protect your energy because there's something here about people envying you. And it's not just because of the relationship that you're about to be in. It's also because of what you're about to do. So to protect your energy, there's lots of different ways that you can do it. But I recommend working on your, your solar plexus chakra. Okay. You have sound healing. So, you know, like I was saying earlier, you can literally listen to like, um, cause all the chakras respond to different frequencies. So you can look up a, sh a th um, sorry, a solar plexus chakra frequency and balance it. Some of you guys are going to be moving house. 
as well. That could be to do with your abundance, like maybe even feeling a bit trapped or something. Tell me about this throat chakra. Pregnancy, okay. I wanna put that there next to the caring connection. So I, I see a couple of things here. There's something that you're gonna be doing with the speaking that's gonna be like a birth. You're gonna like give birth to something through spirit. But also I feel like there's a pregnancy, you know, for those of you that that's possible. I know it's not gonna be for everyone, but there's a pregnancy coming with this caring connection. You're seriously gonna be very happy with this person. Very, very happy. Um, tell me about this speaker thing. You're releasing a past love. That could be who's envious of you as well. Um, you may also have made a decision recently to like release this past love. There's definitely, um, I think a past love kind of hurt you. They may have been very deceitful. Something like that, okay, which I'm sure sure a lot of people can vibe with that but you have spirit is very proud of you they want spirit wants you to know that you know they can't really intervene when you're undergoing the test right because it looks like you came to a junction in your life and you had to choose this past person or like a new person and you've chosen the new person and you know they can't really intervene because it's your life but spirit is very proud of you for what you've done also stop feeling guilty for resting there's something here about protecting your energy and part of that, they're really focusing on that, okay? Part of uh, protecting your energy is to actually rest. You know, because I know Virgos are very into like acts of service, but the thing is people will keep taking until you have absolutely nothing left, okay? What's that phrase that the givers have to have limits because the takers don't have any? And it's not because they're bad people, it's just because they don't really think, you know? So, yeah, if you need to rest, you rest. Uh, anything else? Abundance, oh my God. I don't know what you're doing, but you're about to make a lot of money. It's, it's this path thing that you're doing, you're, it's your path. It's like what you were meant to do, like what you came here to do. Right, I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna go into the extended reading, Virgo. So in the extended reading, I wanna pull some more of these cards to see if they'll give us any other information about what the speaking thing is that you're gonna do. Excuse me. And I also wanna pull some sacred self-care cards um, about this protecting your energy thing. I want to do that to see if they have any advice, but really like go for your solar plexus chakra and also ground your energy. Like if your energy is grounded, it's difficult for people to kind of sneak in to your energy. Um, and obviously we're going to talk about this new person that's coming in as well. So we'll get some characteristics about this person. We'll get some messages from them and we'll get some fluffy lovey-dovey cards and uh, any other information that wants to come out about them. So if you want to watch the extended reading, all of the information for that is below. I would love to see you over there. But either way, thank you very much for watching this reading. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate that a lot too. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.